What's going on, peeps? Good morning, good good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Worthy Prince, coming at ya. We have another Lord's mobile live stream. Let's get it. I forgot to put the blind down behind me. Okay, we got some, got the light effects going on behind us. Then okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's all good. I normally I normally put that down. But I forgot. Oh well, it's all good. Doesn't really cause any, like. Too many reflections. You know what would be really good is I'll put a mirror behind me. I think a mirror behind me could be the way forward, guys. A mirror behind me. I don't know. Hmm. I think about that. Anyway, what's up, peeps? I hope you're doing really, really, really well. Um, yeah, you know what? I just got home, actually, a little while ago. And, uh, yeah, I just noticed that there is another part of the update coming. Ah! Something new. As IGG always do, they put a sneak something in right at the last second that we wasn't expecting. Sneaky IGG, I tell you. But nothing gets past us on this channel. Hell no. Nothing gets past us on this channel. We spot it. We bring the news. Hell yeah. And make sure you guys don't miss out on the news. Make sure your bell buttons are pressed. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, don't forget to smash that. We're getting closer and closer and closer to 670. Yeah, 70,000 subscribers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you guys are insane. We're going to get there by the end of the year. That's the goal. Anyway. What's up, guys? Hope you're all doing well. Who was... Ace was first today. Ace. Ace knows what's up. She's got a notification bell on. Hell, yeah. Let's go, Ace. Donald, Maestro, Andy, Saberfang. All these guys in here, they, they've got the, notifica the notification crew up in the house. Isaac, Andre, Corey, Chilio, Alan, Connor, New... No Norphilius, Plip... Hang on. Norphelius Pius. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? <laughs> what's up, Tom? What's up, Shadow Singer? What's up, Deathlord, Black Orange, Evis, Donald, AK Bear up in the house? What's up, Fan? High Heaven Feather. At this point, IGG better make the new gear cheaper than Champ. Or more better. People will just go even more for Champ. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. No, we're not doing gear check Sunday. I know, it's terrible. I mean, I know it's Sunday, but new gear, new update stuff takes priority, right? <laughs> what's up tabs how you doing nice soda hi morbid what's up bro hi nigel what's up wokey what's up pigeon hello charles vc rules zaheed in the chat what's up everyone how are we all doing sorry if i didn't say your name if i didn't say your name then make sure you get it quicker next time <laughs> uh, but no you're all really appreciated thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with me so we can go and take a look at this shout out to 1db in the house what's up from gm like her what's up what's up what's up How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I went out for dinner with my mum today. That was quite nice. I had a nice steak. Mm. So just, just picture this. I haven't got a picture, otherwise I'd show you. Sirloin steak. Oh, well, I mean, just that on its own is enough, isn't it, right? But sirloin steak, peppercorn sauce, fries, onion rings, a bit of mac and cheese on the side, some peas. Got to have a bit of veg, you know? <laughs> the healthy option. Some tomatoes, some mushrooms. Oh, no, I'm still not finished. Some tomatoes, some mushrooms. Uh, and like some, some, I think it was like some kind of like onion hash, which I didn't, weren't too keen on. No, that was a bit, uh. but the rest of it was really nice. And then I uh, still ain't finished. I shared a big plate of waffles and cream and chocolate fudge cake. And <laughs> it was good. It was good. I'm just saying, oh my goodness gracious. I was stuffed after I ate it. It was nice. Went down to the steakhouse, nice bit of dinner. Doing it wrong, bro. Filet mignon the whole way. I, they don't actually do filet mignon in that in that place, actually. Some say my castle is still burning. I know, Zahid. You know what? At the end of the KVK stream, Zahid got a rally set on him. And uh, thanks for the dono, bro. But yeah, he got a rally set on him. And unfortunately, they cancelled. So I was like, oh, okay. And then I went off. I went off camera. And they reset, and they burned him. Oh, it was a bad burn too. But you know what, Zahi? We get up from the, the, the mistakes. He was sitting in Cav Wedge, guys. Cav Wedge. I was like, dude, 
Dude, why are you sitting in Cavwich? But no, he took a bad one, but it's all good. It's all good. Jesus, you just emptied out a village. <laughs> Chocolate fudge with custard. That's, that sounds like a good combination right there, my dude. Hello from Cyprus. We've got Robert from Cyprus. Where else are you guys from? Where are you guys from tonight? We got some... Let us know in the chat where you're from, guys. Shout out for your country. Pancakes and maple syrup. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, right? We got Cyprus up in the house. Who else we got up in the house tonight? Bacon and maple syrup. That's a, that's a bit of a Canadian thing there, right, isn't it? Bacon and maple syrup. We got Pakistan in the house. Paraguay. Croydon. Sunny Costa del Croydon. <laughs> we got China in the house. We've got United States. We've got Ireland, Canada, New Zealand, Birmingham, Guano. We got Seattle, Washington up in here. Hungary, India. Lebanon, Germany, Florida, Algeria, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Australia, we've got Illinois, Romania, Taiwan, Guana, or, or Guinea, uh, Brooklyn, Turkey, Afghanistan, wow, Jamaica, Scotland, Michigan, USA, Bristol, Turkey, there's people from all over the world, Nigeria, Mexico, Serbia, Fell Knight coming in with his message for the month, Canada, you, what, a, what a time to use it, bro, bro, thank you for the eight months, <laughs> he saves it for this, I was tweeting, <laughs> my moment has come, <laughs> message comes in, <laughs> Canada, <laughs> let's go boys and girls, let's get it, Netherlands, Italy, the moon, Kays is on the moon, have you seen Shiba Inu up there, Kays, if you've seen Shiba Inu on the moon, let me know, Kays. Las Vegas. Why did I skip Romania? I didn't. I said it, Christian, but I'll say it twice just for good measure. Romania. Let's get it. <laughs> Azerbaijan. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, let's get into it because we want to take a look at this new gear set, right? If you haven't already smashed that like button, don't forget to smash the like button. We've got plenty of people in here. We're going 67 likes. Let's try and change that right away quickly. So let's smash that like button. Let's let the YouTube know we are live. Let's get it. And with that being said, let's get into the game. And let's take a look at this new gear set, shall we? Alright. Look at this. Look at this little thing over here, look. <laughs> Listen, we're going to go and have a look at this dude in a minute. We're going to go and investigate what this is all about. And uh, slap him up a little bit. We've got ourselves a creepy crawly in uh, in Lord's Mobile. Thank you, Pelly, for the one euro donation. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Check it out though, look, we've got this little snake dude chilling in the kingdom right now. I mean, I don't know whether you guys remember. Some of you OGs will remember, some of you won't, but I made a video, it was either earlier this year or it was last year called Fake or Real. You can find it on YouTube yourself if you search up Fake or Real. And I showed this monster and everything saying this was gonna come out. It took him a long time to do it, but it's finally come. VC Roll, thank you for the 16 months. Isn't this monster the same one as from Mobile Royale? No, I think similar, maybe. Similar. But basically, this was a monster that came out in Lords Mobile as a special event, like right at early days when Lords Mobile first released. And it never came back into the game again. And it was quite an interesting monster because you used to hit it and it used to give you pay-to-play hero medals. It was part of an event. Um, and then they basically got rid of it, and it never came back as an event in Lords Mobile ever again. And that was like four, three, five years ago. Um, now, about a year ago, I made a video on YouTube because we managed to get all of some images that were, I think were data mined. Um, and I had a picture of the monster, and I had a picture of the weapon banner that goes inside the workshop. And I said, look, guys, I'm telling you, Serpent Gear is coming. And this was about a year ago that I made that video. Some of you will remember it. Some of you won't. Um... But yeah, I made a video and said there's going to be some Serpent gear at some point. Didn't know as and when they were going to drop it, but what well, they have. Uh, Walcott Pro Players, welcome to the Worthy Knights, bud. Thanks for the sub. Um, and it seems like now's the time they're going to drop it. So yeah, there it is. You remember that? All right, well, there it is. There's the monster. All right. Listen, we're going to hit him in a minute and take, take him out and see what he's all about in a bit. I think, or well, hopefully, he's got enough monster energy on him. Let's have a look. Oh, he's lacking on energy. We'll have to go kill a level three or something, I think, probably, or a level two. He's lacking a little bit at the moment. That's fine. Let's get into the turf and have a look at the actual gear. Good evening, everyone. Because I don't know what the gear is. I ha I'll be honest with you guys. I literally saw it. I booted up a live stream so I could talk to you about it. I don't know what I'm walking into right now. I don't know what the stats are or anything. So, yeah, we're going in blind. 
There it is, though. The Serpent Gladiator set. All right. Bring it down. Let's have a look. We'll do one at a time, yeah? All right. First of all, we've got the level 45 piece of gear called the Desert Trousers. Now, this is imp range. It looks like this whole set is basically an imp range set, which is interesting because Bon Appetit's imp range too. So I expect to see some either better, more expensive pieces of gear in here, or I expect to see cheaper um, pieces of gear, which are not quite as good as Bon Appetit, but we'll see. All right. Anywho, we've got the Desert Trousers. Let's click on these. Now, Mythic Grade, these are going to give you 14% infantry attack, 14% range attack, 9.8 range defense, and 4.2% infantry at max HP. So, I guess, really, the only other thing in the game that has inf range, which is decent as far as a piece of gear, is, is Dragon Talons. But, obviously, Dragon Talons have army HP on them, um, and I think higher stats. So, they definitely don't beat Dragon Talons, but they're still pretty good. 14-14 and infantry HP... That's not bad. Um, they require tough scales, and I don't think this is—I don't think this is pay to play either. I don't know what the ultra rare is, but I think this might be free to play because it's level forty-five piece of gear. I tell you something: for free to play, this is actually pretty good. If these are the standard pieces, this is really good. But I mean, especially if you're comparing it up to talons, because talons are a pay to play piece of gear. So what we're looking at here, 14, 14. If we go and look at Talons, for example, on the Blackwing set, yeah, look, 28, 42. I mean, Talons destroy, ta Talons absolutely destroy that piece of gear completely, but these do require eight Ultra Rares. And you do need, this is, this is a pay-to-play item to get to Mythic, all right? So, yes, the stats are lower, but, I mean, it's level 45 for a start, which means you don't have to be level 60. I, I, I actually think this is a nice, nice, nice piece of gear, actually. It's a nice, uh, yeah, for level 45, new to the game, trying to build a pair of boots. There's nothing wrong with building a pair of desert trousers. I actually kind of like the look of them as well. Yeah, these are pretty good, guys. I mean, look, free-to-play materials, I think. I think. So that's good. Next one we've got is this. The accessory. Wow, the accessory is only level 50 on this one. So the coiled armband. Infantry 18.2, 18.2 range, and then range HP 11.2. It's almost like a poor man's ambrosial. You know what I feel like this is? Now I've seen the accessory, I kind of feel like this is sort of like Bon Appetit, but the pieces that Bon Appetit's really good at, this is not as good at. This is actually a nice piece of gear, I think, as well. Level 50, I think if you're building a trap and you need an accessory that's not going to be an ambrosial cup because they're really expensive to build, this could be a really good accessory to have. And this, I think, is the ultra rare. Yeah, that looks very ultra rare, doesn't it? The Dune Core, that's got to be the ultra rare. But it only requires two. Only two, wow. Two at each level. So you need four gold to get to Mythic, but this is actually a pretty nice piece of gear, and it looks really good too. Look at the look at the artwork on that, that coiled snake. It's like something that like Cleopatra used to wear on her arm, you know. Prince, you just started C twenty five. Nice, nice. Is that a Dune reference? It could be. It could be. Looks comparable to a purple cup. Let's have a look at that. Uh, Fell Knight eighteen eighteen on the infant range attack. Let's take a look at the uh, cup and see. Whereabouts that lies on the cup. So 18, 18, 16, 16 on the on the yeah, oh you know what? I'd probably say, yeah. Yeah, you're about right there, bro. It's got a little bit less HP, but equivalent to a purple cup, and probably a lot more easier to attain for a new player than a purple cup. It really looks like they're giving some good options for people that don't want to spend a bunch of money and still be able to have a solid gear set. And to be honest with you, I'm telling you guys, put a true good troop comp into a solo trap or even a rally trap and put that coiled armband on the, on the accessory. It's going to do well. It's definitely going to do well. That's, that's a nice piece of gear. Range HP from the accessory. Infantry HP from the boots. We're going to see some snaky traps, mate. That's what we're going to see, some snake traps. This is nice. This is a nice set so far. I kind of like this. It's not nothing I need to worry about at the moment, so that's good. <laughs> but um, it's definitely got some good, good stuff in here for newer players. I like this. I like this so far. 
um what's up sasha how you doing welcome welcome it does have infantry defense yeah so it's not as much hp as what a cup has thanks for the sub okay is it camben can't pronounce it i'm not sure if that's right but welcome to the worthy knights sorry if i said your name wrong bud um yeah so it hasn't got as much hp as a uh as a cup but still it's still a really good piece of gear that's not bad at all a little bit better than a purple cup i'd say just a little bit very nice like in the middle of between a purple and a gold anyway let's have a look at the more higher pieces of gear because no doubt there's going to be something here that's going to make me go oh no <laughs> there always is right there always is okay let's have a look there is an offhand here called the venom blade oh god what is that all right hang on a minute fifth wow well, first of all 15 ultra rares oh <gasps> Okay, so we went from not very expensive at all to hella expensive. Okay, 15 ultra rares. This... Okay, so this is 35% infantry attack. 35% ranged attack. 14% army HP. Oh. Oh, that's actually pretty gnarly, actually. Hang on a minute. What would you use this for? So, okay, let's just think about this for a second. I wouldn't use it for my Inf Blast because I use my, I use, uh, I mean, I use my champion, my champion offhand for infantry in range. I use a codex. This is 35% attack. My codex, hang on a minute, hang on. I know you guys are telling me the answers already, but I want to check it out, hold on. The codex gives me 28. No, it don't, 49, sorry. 49% attack on my codex. So I'm not going to switch out this for 35%. Even if it's got army HP. I want the attack. So my codex still is best in slot for my range. And on my infantry. If you're not using champion. You're probably using. The, this down here. Which is 28. So it's a little bit better as far as an inf blast goes. Than the dark Aegis. And that also means it's better than the, the pearl one as well. Because the pearl one gives you 21. And 14 HP. Thanks, Vels, for the sub. Welcome to the Worthy Knights. Welcome to the fan, bud. And the HP's better on the other thing as well. So, the new offhand is better than the Call of the Deep and the Dark Aegis as far as Inf Blast goes. But it ain't going to be better than the Champion piece. No, right? Yeah, 49%. Okay, I don't get no HP. But I'm going to take 49% attack over 35% attack. So, still, the Champion Light is best in slot for for your for your inf blast if you're going to blast something but that uh, this this piece here as far as i can see as far as i can see this does actually beat uh the dark agus and the call of the deep interesting it's better than switchblade yeah yeah yeah. it's better than switchblade it's got more attack here's the big question is this better than the lamp for a 442 this is what I'm thinking right now. The lamp. Does this knock out the lamp for a 442 attack? Let's check that out. So 30, 35, 35 on attack. Where's the lamp? Okay. Ooh, I can't do it. You know what? I don't know. Okay, so no, I mean the lamp's got more attack on it. I mean the lamp has got 42 infantry, it's got 49 range. I mean, you're you're talking about a lot of attack stats. Honestly, I think if I was going to do 442, I would probably stick with the champion lamp just because 35 range, 49 range. I mean, you're talking about 14% extra range attack on the lamp, and you're talking about an extra 7% att infantry attack on the lamp. Okay, you don't get the army HP, but is, does that army HP outweigh that extra attack? I reckon they're probably very similar, if I'm being honest with you. I really do. I think they're really similar. I do think that HP is going to help a lot on the other piece. But I still think this attack definitely is going to make the champion lamp still be up there. So I think they're very similar. And I think if you were to test them out, you'd get really similar results, I think, from the lamp and also from the, from the new offhand. Personally speaking, I think... This is still your 442 go to, personally. Mm. It takes it takes way less ultras. I mean six. Six mains. Six mains is is a lot cheaper than 15 of those those serpent things. I mean it's a very interesting piece of gear. It's good, and it definitely is better than a pair of mitts. Well no, is it better than mitts? 
It's got more attack stats than the Mitz. The Mitz have still got a bunch more HP. I still would go for the Mitz for a defense, personally, I think. I mean, so I don't know. If you had this, maybe I would use this for a defense instead. But this is an expensive piece of gear. 14 Ultra Rare Embers. 15. Why do they make it so expensive? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense to me. Why they make these pieces of gear so expensive. But it's good. It's definitely good. In some cases, HP outweighs attack. Now, you are right. It does. In some cases, yeah. I get that. I'm not saying it's a bad piece of gear at all. It is very good. And if you're going to build this for your 442 set instead of the lamp, you won't be doing nothing wrong. And put it that way. I mean, this is a solid piece of gear. And that extra army HP. Don't forget, army HP goes on your inf and your range and your cav. So if you're sending 442, that's a lot of extra HP, that 14% army HP. Um, does that outweigh the attack stats that the lamp gives you? I don't know. I honestly don't know the answer to that question. I really don't. Do I think it's worth building? I mean, it, it, it probably is worth building if you're a big rally lead. And just, just to test it out. <laughs> it's an expensive test. But I mean, if, you've already, if you're up there anyway, I mean, it definitely would be worth maybe slow rolling this. This is a nice piece of gear. It's a nice piece of gear. I like this. That army HP just makes it that little bit better as well. I, I, I like it. I'd rather have the mitts for defense in my castle for the HP personally, but it's still a nice piece. Yeah, I agree, Rhinoc. That's why, I, to be honest with you, Rhinoc, that's exactly how I feel. The mitts are probably going to be better for defense, and the lamp is probably going to be better for your 442 or 992, whatever you're going to do. But it still is a really good piece of gear. And if you've got it in your arsenal, it's not a bad thing at all. It's definitely going to go to work for you. And if you are going to use this for a blast, which, I mean, you might. <laughs> If you're not building champ gear, I mean, to be honest with you, it would be cheaper to build a champion light. Just saying. But if you want this for your infantry blast, then yeah, I mean, this would be better than the Aegis and it would be better than the um, Call of the Deep. And there is a monster you can hunt for this. Let me just remind everybody, I got my Lunar Boomerang to Mythic through monster hunting. I didn't buy that many packs. I bought 2,000 chests at the beginning when it first came out. And then I didn't buy any more Hootwing Claw packs. I done the rest of it all through monster hunting. So there is a chance if you go ham on the monster, you can probably get this through monster hunting if you just go absolutely nuts. I mean, you'd have to kill hundreds of them. But some people do do that. Some people do go crazy on the monster. Don't see that banner being a bad thing at all. Anyway, that's the that's the Venom Blade, level 60 piece of gear. There's still one more piece, guys. There still is one more piece. Yeah, Aaron's getting impatient. He's like, move to next gear. Aaron, I'll get there when I'm ready. <laughs> I'm on my way though, mate. <laughs> okay, there is one more piece. Oh. Okay, I'm looking at the stats of this before I've even lifted it up. What? <laughs> what is this? Oh, hell no. Hang on, what I thought. You know what? If that had army HP instead of infantry HP, that thing would be insane. What is this, man? Serpent helm. Oh, yeah, another helmet. We haven't got hardly any helmets in this game. That, that, that looks beast, by the way. Just saying. That looks legit. Like, seriously, that's the best looking piece of gear in the set. Look at it. Damn. Infantry 42%, ranged 42%, infantry HP 21%, army defense 35%. Army defense? Why would they put army defense on it? Yeah, Bumblehelm's still better because it's got the army HP. I agree, 100%. Let me just check. 42, 42 on set attack stats. It's still a good helmet, though, by the looks of it. Yeah, look, why would you do that? The Bumble Helm coming in with 42, 42, exactly the same as the new Serpent Helm, but Bumble Helm coming in with the with the with the clutch, 28% army max HP. You, there's no way you're gonna build the other helmet. You're gonna build this. IGG, what have you done? Can we get an F in the chat for IGG guys? Because they've just done an F. They've just messed up big time. Why would you even think about building this? You're not gonna build this helmet. Why would they put, why would they put 
Why would they put army defense instead of army HP? That IGG, look at my chat right now. This is the community giving you an F. Because you messed up with the stats. Oh, you could have sold with these. You could have sold these helmets. If you put army HP on here, 30%. So it's like 2% more than a bumble hell. And it's in range. Oh my God. Everyone would have been in here buying this helmet. But you know what, guys? We're giving IGG an F. But let's just get real for a second. And let's, let's, let's wind our necks in a little bit. Can they really give this army HP? Because let's face it. If they give this helmet army, army HP, it's going to beat a champion helm. Legit, it will beat a champion helm. Let's just take a look at that for a sec. Let's just take a... All right, all right, all right. Link it, link it. Okay, just calm it, bro. It's all good. <laughs> um, got dudes, got dudes going ham with the Fs. Let's just, uh, let's just calm it down, though, dude. Just one, just one F is all I needed, mate. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Look, check it out, though. 42, 42. If we check out the champion helm... If we check out the champion helm... Let's have a look at this. Okay, 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 okay. Just, what, just, 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 just look at this for a second, yeah. This is your inf range champion visor, all right. Um, now you get the inf and range attack, thirty five. Then you got to add on the army attack as well, so it's thirty five plus fourteen, so it's forty forty nine, forty nine inf, forty nine range. So it's higher straight away on attack stats. Plus you get twenty eight percent army HP. Hmm. They should have done that. Uh, they should have done that with like fifteen percent army HP. I think fifteen percent or even twenty percent army HP. They could have gone twenty percent. It still would have had less attack stats than the visor, and it still would have less HP than the visor. So your big relic leads are still going to go for your champion visor over the new serpent helmet. But to not give that helmet any army HP just makes it so less more des less desirable because you go for bumble helm. Yeah, it doesn't beat this. This this knocks it out of the park. The champion visor definitely is still best in slot for 442. So nothing has really beaten champion gear here. I don't think that ever was the intention. I think it's a nice looking piece of gear. And I think in range stats, yeah, it's going to be great. But let's face it. If you're going to be building yourself a mix set that doesn't include champion gear, you need to focus on army HP. Army HP is key for a mix set when you're taking hits. Or even if you're attacking forts. Um, I personally wouldn't build this if you're trying to build a 442 set for a fort either. I'd say build the champion gear because the champion gear is going to cost you less if you're buying the packs. But we have to remember, guys, we have to remember that this does have a monster. Yeah? This does have a monster. You do have the potential to go... I never believed it personally that you could go and hunt for these items, but... Look, after doing it with the Lunar Boomerang, it's kind of changed my mind a little bit. That if you, You've got to put a lot in, like a lot of energy in, <laughs> to do it. But it is possible. So therefore, uh, I can't really say it isn't anymore, because I've done it with the Boomerang. Um, so yeah, this has got the potential to get through Monster Hunt in, um, in the game. So that's why I guess the, the stats just can't be nowhere near the champion. Because the champion gear, remember, has no monster. It is a pure pay-to-play gear set. You have to go and buy it. That's why it has to be the best, because you have to buy it. Whereas this, you do have the option to go and... Uh, you still got to buy Frosty Special but you <laughs> to get all your energy, but you've still got to go out and uh, hunt it, etc. You, you, you got the option to go and hunt it. Overall, though, it's a good helmet. It's not terrible. It's got good attack stats. Infantry, infantry HP is nice. If you're never planning to get into champion and you want to get yourself a nice inf range helmet, this is best in slot. There's no way around it. It's best in slot as far as a helmet goes for inf range. None of the other new pieces of gear, cav range, inf cav, cav, inf, and there was no helmet there, was there? No. There's no other inf range helmet in this game. Did this, this say that this is inf cav? The, the Beast Helm's Inf Cav. This is Cav Range, the Bumble Helm. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else in the game that's going to give you solid infantry range infantry range stats other than the Serpent Helm. Yeah, you lose, lose a bit of HP. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you're not going for champ gear and you're going to go hunting for your gear, this is definitely best in slot for infantry range. If you're going to be uh, one of those rally leads that's just not going to use champ gear. That's, that's it. There you go. Hmm. 
It's a lot of the Bond Helm. Nah, the Bond Helm's nowhere near. That's the free to play piece, bro. You're talking about the Indulgent Visage, right? Yeah, nah, that's nowhere near that, bro. 14% Inf attack, 14% Range attack. Nah. <laughs> that's really low. I mean, it's free to play, so there is that. But yeah, nah, 14% stats. This has got way higher stats. 42, 42, and you get infantry HP and army defense. I mean, this is better than the Indulgent Visage by a lot. Um, good luck trying to build it. It's going to be really, really it's going to take your time to build this. But yeah, if you're not going to be a champ rally, that's not going to have a champion visor or any champion gear for that matter. You can slow roll this on the on the on the monsters, start hunting the monsters, get your ultra rares and start leveling this thing up. Personally, out of all of it, I think the, the piece I would level up first is, is honestly this Venom Blade. Out of all the pieces in this set, this is the only one I would really consider building myself. Because it could be quite useful, you know. It's definitely got... It's def I definitely think this has some use. I think I think I, I think on my main account, when I start hunting these snakes, I think, uh, I think I'm going to be putting my materials towards one of these what do you think do you, are you guys gonna what are you guys gonna be building in the chat i'm, I'm gonna build a, i'm gonna build a venom blade on the slow roll what about you guys yeah stick to the bumble helm rush absolutely the helmet does look badass absolutely it does look badass but yeah i'm gonna stick with the uh i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna build the venom blade i'm not in a rush for it don't get me wrong I'm not gonna build, I'm not in a rush for this, but I think if I'm gonna slow roll something, I think I'm probably gonna slow roll the Venom Blade. Uh, Nathan's not building any of it. Valen's not building nothing. They're free to play. Don't forget though, Valen, that the boots are actually rather nice and the accessories are pretty good too. And you can hunt for these, no problem, I think. The coiled armbands are solid accessory. Really good. Uh, for free to play, I mean, if you can hunt that, two ultra rares, that's doable, I think. I think free-to-play players should be aiming at trying to get these accessories. Because if you can get lucky with a couple of monster hits and get some of these... And get this leveled up, you get this thing to, like, Mythic. It's only two Ultra Rares as well to take it to Mythic. Two golds. I would be trying to grind one of these up if I was free-to-play. Absolutely. And these boots ain't bad either. They're equivalent. Thanks for the five. Better off building a Winter Parker, says Gonzo. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, mate. <laughs> what are these equivalent to on the uh, Talons? 14, 14. They're equivalent to uh, gold? No, purple. Hmm. I would say they're kind of equivalent to... Yeah, that... Hmm. I'd say... Let's say blue... Yeah, maybe blue, purple. Between blue and purple, they're kind of like, I would say almost purple. Almost equivalent to the purple talons. Um, those those boots. Those new ones. No, oh, the HP's a lot lower. I'd say blue. They're, they're about equivalent to the blue talons. Desert trousers. Equivalent to the blue. But they're free to play. This is what I'm saying. These are free to play. So you could take these right up, and they're, they're about equivalent to the blue talons. So if you've already got blue talons or up, you're probably not going to want to build these. There you go. Thank you for that. the dono. Yeah, I've already seen that one. Thank you so much, Gonzo. Yeah, if you've got blue talons... All right, Valens. So Valens, <laughs> Valens is like, well, I've got blue talons. So I ain't building it, all right? <laughs> yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah, so if you've got blue talons, you're probably not going to want to build these. Accessories, though. Yeah, I think these, these are solid. This beats Lost Island Relics. This beats Aqua and Enemies. This beats a lot of stuff. This is actually pretty good. These are solid. So, yep, if you're free to play, start grinding a coiled armband. Start hitting the monsters. Get yourself some of these Dune Cores if you can get lucky enough. And start building yourself a, one of these armbands up. Because that's definitely going to benefit your account if you get one of those sorted out. Even at, like, gold, they're really good. Yeah, like 13, 13. Easily doable as free to play. I believe in you, free to play guys. Get out there and get yourself a snake. All right, let's go look at the monster. Should we go take a look at the monster? Let's go look at the monster and see what the monster's saying. Just quickly grab this. 
All right, let's go see what the monster's saying. So I can't do a level five because, unfortunately, my dude over in the, in, the, in the Taiwan server hasn't got enough energy. He's a bit low on energy. So we're just going to go and grab a level three or something just to see what the battle looks like. Oh, look, there's a dude in the... <laughs> there's one of them little dudes in the prison, look. Yeah, we're not doing that. We've done that the other day. You've got the new update coming really soon. We played this the other day. And got it to level 9, look. <laughs> Actually, he's been doing it. He's up to level 9, look. But we're not going to do any more of it. We'll let him do it. I love this little dude on the horse. If you haven't seen the update yet, go check my video out or wait for it to come in a few hours' time. But that dude on the horse, when you click, when you complete one of these quests, he's like, yeah! <laughs> it's so funny. Turn your sound up on your game so you can hear that. It's really it's really quite funny. Um, all right, let me try and find a level 2 snake. Or level 1 snake. You know what? That might be... Actually, look, I did level two. Oh, there we go. Has he got any reloads? Ah, oh, he's got reloads. Nice. There it is. All right, cool. So, let's have a look at this. The Serpent Gladiator. This is high physical defense. It's another magic monster. He is capped. Oh, yeah, he's capped. Yeah, I forgot he's on a monster gear. Okay, thank you. Prince, is IgG ever going to fix that shit with the bots? I mean, look, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure IgG are aware of it. And we can only but leave it in their hands. That's all we can do at this point, my dude. But I had experiences in KVK. I had my rally trap out in KVK. I had people cancelling on me the moment I logged in. Very sad to see, I have to say, guys. But the worthy rally trap was unshielded during KVK. I wasn't logged in. I had someone set a rally on me. I waited until it got to about three minutes left on the rally. Um, I went onto my main account and wrote what reins I needed. And then I logged in to my rally trap. I didn't click on anything. I didn't change the gear. I didn't press help. I just changed my talents from economy to uh, war. And then I just sat there and waited, ready to change the formation. And literally within a minute of me logging into my account, he cancelled the rally and he put it away. So... And I had no anti-scout or anything, man. I was sitting there completely open. So he could see what was going on. He could see the rains, everything. And he just he just cancelled the rally as soon as I logged in and put it away. And the rest of the guild put it away as well. So clearly, he, he got a notification that the shield was down. Clearly, he got notified that I was actually logging onto the account and put it away. So really, really sh it's a shame to see that bots were still active during the KVK. 100%. But, you know... It is what it is. Hopefully, IGG can sort it out. That's all I can say. Anyway, let's get off the subject of that and talk about this. So, this is high physical defense. No, there's no spy. We, the, the guy's in a different kingdom somewhere. Like, a guild I've never even heard of. So, yeah, definitely not that. They were using a bot. Anyway, high physical defense. So, this is a magic monster. So, let's go ahead and hit him, shall we? Um, hmm. So, Elementalist, uh, we'll go for Bobbing Goblins, pretty good for magic, right? And who else can we use? We can use Snow Queen, uh, possibly Incinerator, and what about Petite Devil? Looks like a pretty solid magic lineup. Let's go with that. There you go, he's swinging his, swinging his gold swords about. Okay, we should be able to kill this, no probs. We'll just do it slowly on the one hit, because he's got loads of energy saved up at the moment. 41k. There you go. It's quite a cool battle animation. I like the swinging of the swords. It looks pretty good. Take it down to 19. So yeah, pretty easy to kill the level 2s. Just need to put yourself a magic team together. And I'll be hunting these on my main account. I'm, uh, I've got loads of energy on my main account. So maybe I'll go like smash them out a bit. The level fives and see if I get any good drops maybe. Again, if you want to, if you want to see me log in on my main account tomorrow when the update drops. And we'll go and knock out a bunch of these level fives. Let me know. And I'll, I'll put up a live stream and hunt some for you. There you go. That's the end of the snake. Latest Mr. Snake. Okay, let's have a look at our drops. So I don't think we're going to get anything off the back of one level two. There's a couple of materials. Got ourselves a green as well. Toxic Fang. All right. Okay. And a couple of green tough scales too. Nice. Got one of these bountiful chests that I've got really terrible drop rates on. <laughs> and Monster Defeated. Let's have a look at the battle. 
There he comes. Oh, he does like a spin. You see that? He does like a tornado spin with the, with the, with the swords. Like an uppercut. That tornado spin's pretty OP. I just want to see if he's got any other special attacks. Oh, look at that. <laughs> like a combo attack he does. Like, chum, 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 chum. It's pretty mad. He's going to do that tornado spin again in a minute if, if we leave him. If we, if, if we don't kill him. I want to see the tornado spin again. Or is that just what he does at the start? Oh, there he is. Look. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a pretty cool little battle, isn't it? Like, it's a nice, it's a, I mean, I always thought this monster was awesome. I never knew why it weren't in the game. Like, it's such a cool looking monster. Um, a little bit dark as well, a bit dark and scary. Like, you know, evil cobra. But it's cool. I like it. There you go. So that's the cool avatar. You know what? I want the avatar, IGG. <laughs> Can I get the snake avatar, please? <laughs> who, 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 in the, who, in the, who in the chat thinks the avatar looks le legit sick? I think we need to start seven, what's that? Six out of 69 out of 10, six out of 10. Mm? Oh, yeah. Hang on a minute. Who, who thinks the avatar is pretty cool? Cobra Commander, I was thinking the same thing. And no, I've got to say that that avatar looks pretty dope. Oi, IGG, can you hook us up with the Cobra avatar, please? Cause that looks really, really cool. I have to say, I want that. <laughs> I, do, I do want that. That's really cool. I'll tell you what, what, look, now I know you guys always moan at me when I put ideas in IGG's heads, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is where I should just like, no, 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 shush. <laughs> no, but seriously, something I'm a little bit con not concerned about, worried about a little bit, I think, is the best way to put it. Um, what familiars has he got open over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can show you. So look, a little bit worried. Collab with G.I. Joe confirmed. Yo, Cobra, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm a little bit worried about the fact that... You know, Tier 5 came out because, like, you know, you were like, how do I put this? Okay, so Tier 4 troops had the purple border around the outside, right? And then Tier 5 came out, they had the gold border around the outside of them. And then the heroes, they level up in stages. They go from grey to green to blue to purple and then you have the gold borders because it's maxed right so to, you know the way lords mobile works is maxed is a gold border all right so yeah tier, tier five have a gold border the heroes have gold borders but the familiars the level five fams they have purple borders you notice that a maxed out bon appetit and it, hey congratulations for getting a bond unlocked holy crap nice job um they got purple borders. Do you know what I'm saying? These familiars, they have purple borders. So I'm thinking, where's the gold bordered familiars? And the thing is, they've brought out a lot of monsters lately. <laughs> so like they brought out, look, 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 the guys are like, don't, 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 don't say it. <laughs> no, but seriously, they brought out Hootclaw. They brought out Cottage Raw, Gorilla, Necrosis, Arctic Flipper, and now Serpent. I mean, that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six familiar, or six, six monsters. Six monsters, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's eight in pack four. How many in pack three? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in pack three, okay. How many in pack two? One, two, three, four, five. So there's five in pack two. I'm kind of wondering if there's going to be a pack five, like like tier five fams. Pack five from the pack five familiars, you know? Because look, we've got grey, we've got green, we've got blue, we've got purple. Where's the gold one? Pack five fams? If they bring T6, it's going to be on you. <laughs> what about pack four B? What about pack four B? They turn that to pack four A. This could be pack four A. And then you got pack 4B, and then you get all these ones in here. Like, all these ones in here. <laughs> I told you guys are going to start voting at me, like Gorilla. I wanna, don't, you, don't you guys want to see Gorilla fighting against your enemies? 
Hashtag bring back the Tusker set. Yes, I agree. I agree with you. I agree. The gorilla, the monkey. I, I like the elephant. I like the elephant. The elephant will always have a place in our hearts. I know. Don't you want to see, like, when you go fight someone, you hoot claw, swoop in and attack the enemy and stuff, you know? The gorilla go bang his chest like Donkey Kong, come running across the field. Big splash in the battlefield with the Arctic Flipper coming in and attacking. The serpent sliding in and attacking your enemies. You don't want to see none of that? Dr. Wrecker, just, just, just quote Dr. Wrecker. Shut the fuck up, Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, okay, I won't go on no more. But I'm just saying, guys, I feel like it's being teed up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> i feel like it's being teed up i feel like they're teeing up for a big familiar update i can feel it coming guys you know like in uh you know like in jurassic park yeah you know like in jurassic park when they're sitting in the car and the little cup of water is on the dashboard you can see the ripples in the water like a doom doom Doom. You see the ripples in the water as, as every time you hear the thud. I feel like we're in that situation right now. I'm looking at the game screen and I can just feel the vibrations in the kingdom. Like something is coming. What is coming? I think it's the familiars. They're coming in. <laughs> oh, damn. That's funny. Anyway, maybe. I think, I think they're definitely teeing up for it. I feel like it definitely is going to be on the cards. Mmm. <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I just wanted to basically go over the new monster, which we've done. Um, as far as teams go to take out the monster, you're just looking at um, a magic team. The gear itself is pretty straightforward. There's a couple of pieces that are interesting. The helmet, I think, is good for non-champ players. I think the offhand, the Venom Dagger, is uh, is actually really good, potentially. Like, very universal piece. I think even big players might want to build the dagger. Not so much the helmet, though, because of no HP. Let's dive back out to the chat screen. There you go. <laughs> hey, I just want to say thanks for the support, guys. Um, this, this week, um, we're coming into a close for this week. And I streamed a lot this week. A hell of a lot. And the support's been really, really cool. The numbers have been really good. Uh, so I just want to say thank you uh, for that. All right. Uh, we're getting into next week. We're getting closer to December, which is really cool. Uh, we're going to be getting into next week. And I know I said Resident Evil was going to happen this week. And clearly it didn't. But it will happen next week, I promise. So we're definitely going to be playing some Resident Evil 8 next week and finishing that off, I hope. Um, and of course, more Lords Mobile content to come. Um, I will definitely be uh, streaming some more Lords next week, including that new update as well, the activity thing. Although I kind of did do it. I still want to do it on my main account. Plus, go hunt, hunt a bunch of snakes and just kind of chill. So we might do a chill stream next week, like tomorrow or something when this comes out. And just go hunting some snakes and do some of the activity levels and stuff. If you want guys want to come and hang out and just do a chill with me, you're more than welcome to. Um, but that's going to be uh, it for today, I think, guys. If you haven't already smashed that like button, don't forget to smash that like button. I hope you have a really good rest of your weekend, everyone. Quentin Backman has just said in the chat that he likes... Okay, never mind. It's been moderated. <laughs> I was going to read it out, but never mind. <laughs> when does this update release on the main servers? I can only assume it's happening soon because... If you check out your main account, you'll notice on the main server, it's popping up saying there's an update coming tonight in a few hours time, in like four or five hours time. So I'm assuming that's going to be all of this lot being updated onto the system. So Monday makes sense, right? Five days before Baron. Brio, well, Biro, Nerb, Norbert, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the Webby Nights, bro. I hope all you big rally leads have got enough tomes. There's going to be so many people buying this. We're, this this pack. The, the one that comes with the thousand tomes for a hundred bucks. That That is the devil pack. And I guarantee there's going to be loads of big rally leads for Baron this weekend buying that. IGG are going to be like, cha-ching! <laughs> Crazy, right? Crazy. Prince, should I be a rally trap or a solo trap? I don't know, man. Start off with solo trap and get some experience and then build up into a rally trap. That's what I did, dude. I actually found that the best uh, the best way. Start off as a solo trap, then go to a rally trap. And normally as a rally trap, your gear is pretty solid. So that's when you normally start pushing into like rally lead stuff. But IGG needs money for Christmas. Yeah, maybe, maybe the IGG needs some money for the Christmas party. So they added some new gear just to, you know, give us, <laughs> add a bit extra. 
What if I do, do what they did with Mobile Royale and make three different sets of champ gear? Well, they already have. They already have built three different sets of champ gear. <laughs> there was only one set of champ gear at first, and now they added two new sets. Um, so champ gear has got three different sets to it. It's just that champ players build different pieces of it and mix it up for the most part. Are you going to stream the new research tree tomorrow? Yes. Yes, Phil Knight. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. So, guys, I've done some, I've done some looking. Actually, can I just go back into the game really quickly? I've done some looking at this new tree, right? Now, I know, I know I've only got like 42,000 tomes, but I've worked out that 42,000 tomes will get us all the way down for the most part to almost the bottom of this tree um, and the only research is not going to be able to do are the last few on these last couple of rows because check it out right these ones at the bottom these infantry attack ones these curses at the bottom inf range and cav the last four levels so level seven eight nine and ten right seven eight nine and ten across the bottom three is sixteen thousand times 16,000. So the way I look at it is, I should be able to get all the way down, max all the way out, down to here, and I should be able to get all of these up to about level five, level six, or at least levels, maybe max out the first row of defense curses, but I just won't be able to do the last two rows because I'll need more tomes because it's 80,000 tomes to finish it. But I should be able to get the majority of the tree complete when it, when it drops. It's just the last little bit I won't be able to finish. And I tell you guys, I'm not buying the expensive tome packs. I'm just going to get the $5 massive discounts, 250 tomes per day, and I'll slowly get it done. Because I know these are important stats, but I'm not dropping like three, four grand on a on a research tree. It just, it just ain't happening. There's other places where that money would go better than, than spending on a few researchers at the end. Just... There's no need to rush it as far as I'm concerned. I'm not pushing for Baron unless you are actually competing for Baron. Physically competing for Baron. There's no point doing it with the money unless you've already got the tomes. If you've already got the tomes, then no problem. Just go knock it out. No problem. But you're definitely going to want to get it done in the long term because this is really, really big stats for, um, for a fort. If you're going up against someone in a fort battle and you haven't got this and the other person has... <laughs> <laughs> you've got to feel it <laughs> you're gonna feel it so you do need to make sure you get, you get it done if you're running if you're running fort wars um just i'm not going to be pushing baron so i don't need to stress too much i'll get it done just take a couple of months to get it done but yeah we are going to stream it we are going to stream doing some research apps are blinking lootly you have ninety one thousand tones wolf wow Tell me in the chat, guys, let's, let's see who I'm talking to here. Tell me in the chat, how many tomes have you got? How many tomes have you got, chat? Let me know how many tomes you got while I get back to the chat screen. How many tomes you got? 20k tomes? What do you mean, where is the beard? It's here. I just trimmed it a little bit. I, I gave it a little tiny trim because I went out for dinner today. I didn't want to go out for dinner with this with, with, it, with it all scraggy, so I gave it a little trim. It's still it's looking it's still it's looking alright though. Well you can still see it. Yeah. You can still see the beard. It's just not as long as it was before. I just trimmed it down a little bit. Just a little bit. Five hundred times I'm free to play. 120. 83. Geon's got 83 nashani's got 85 where's a lot of you with 80k ak bear with 10k oof i trim mine now mine to now my wife is ignoring me <laughs> 1 000. Oh wow you need 8k more for tier 5 oof oh boy i've got so many that every time i see them i cry 15 tomes in total oh my goodness 5k tomes 9k tomes 2,000 tomes, 4k tomes. I give up asking. What are you asking, Packings? I'm sorry, there are lots of messages. What are you asking, bro? Let me have a look in the chat. What's he asking? Prince, will you stream after 2.45pm UK time? 
Uh, I don't know, it might be earlier if um, if it comes out early, but you can always rewatch it if you miss it, bro. It's not, it's not, not, not worry. They don't have to stress to not be here or not. Y'all have heard Mama Prince. He didn't want a piece of that. <laughs> when will the next gear check Sunday be? Uh, you know what? I'm sorry I didn't do it today. It's just that I wanted to talk about this update today. Uh, we will do gear check Sunday next Sunday, 100%. All right? I promise. I always stream earlier. I know. Well, last this week I've done some early streams, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to mix it up next week. I'm trying to work out what the best times are for me to stream. Whether it's better around about 6, 7 p.m. my time, or if you prefer it in the afternoon. Or maybe I'm going to do a bit of both. I'll do an early stream in the morning and then a late stream in the evening. I don't know what the best way to do it is yet. I'm still trying to work it all out. But one thing I know for certain is I definitely want to be streaming a lot more than what I have been. Have you, se have you seen the new event avatar? Huh? What new event avatar? What what a new event avatar? Mm. I don't see no new event avatar. <laughs> I'll tell you what I do want is I want the uh I want the serpent as an avatar. This time is better, yeah. New monster probably coming out in the update tomorrow, I would imagine. I would imagine the new update is coming tomorrow with the up with the rest of the update. I'm pretty sure you'll get this to this this in the next update. That's dropping in a few hours. You'll get your adventure logs. So you can start doing your quests. Alright. And you're probably gonna be getting you'll be getting this research tree. Advanced battle, advanced wonder battles. And it looks like you're probably gonna be getting some new gear as well. The Serpent Gladiator set. So, yeah. Looks like it's all going to be... Hang on. Bonehead Avatar. Bonehead? Where, where is that? Oh, Harp, Harpy was part of an event. No, there's not going to be a... There's not going to be a cable. Oh, you mean a KVK video about a TWK track? Oh, you want me to post Zahid getting burned? I did record it, but well, I don't know if I want to show him getting burned. I mean, I might do, because we we trapped them straight after with another trap and capped all their rallies. So, maybe I will. I don't know. I kind of wanted to show him capping someone for his first one. Prince, do you think IGG just trashed low might leads with this new research? Ah, <sighs> oh, it's difficult to say, mate. I mean, end of the day, if you were a low might lead and you weren't, you, you weren't running any champion gear... If you went to a fault to fight on a fault and someone pulled it in before and they had like full champion gear, you probably wouldn't take the hit or hit them, right? Do you know what I'm saying? And to be honest with you, it's going to be those big leads that are going to be the ones that get this research done straight away. That being said, people that are rally leads that haven't got champ gear will go and do this research too. So you're not going to know. The only, the only, the only kind of like sign you're going to know as far as if they've got the research or not is their might, because it adds like 500 million might when you complete that research. So if you're going up against someone at a fault and they're really heavy in might, be careful if you if you haven't got the research done, because there's a high chance they might have it done if they're sitting at like two and a half billion or 2.4 billion or something like that. Just be careful. Yeah, Chochu was epic. He'd done some really good stuff. Your adventure log 10. Nice. Are you playing on the Taiwan server, Fet Cole? Hang on, you get a new avatar. What new avatar are you talking about, Maestro? When you complete the new IGG quests, you get the new avatar. Oh, really? Oh, wow. So well, when you do this... Does anybody know how many levels this goes up to? Has anybody played it on the Taiwan server? Uh, the, the adventure log. I'm just making... Hang on a minute. What is, what is your guild's participation requirements? I'll be joining soon. Just need a couple more sigils. Oh, cool. Participation requirements. Just join the war rallies and stuff. Join the war rallies. Join the events. Do the events. Just participate, really. That's pretty much it. Just chip in. Yes, level 11. 32 quests. You're level 16. Okay, so nobody's got to, like... I don't, I, I'm just trying to find a clear answer of where you get the bonehead avatar from. 
Nobody's really knowing. <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a bonehead avatar. That'd be pretty cool. Hi, Ankit. Hey, then. All right. Anyway, guys, we'll check that out. Apparently, new avatar, bonehead. There's a way of getting him doing the new adventure quests. So yeah, there you go. That sounds good. I wouldn't mind getting that. Maybe he's lying. And I don't think he's lying. No, no, no. He's just... um. I'm just a little bit confused where exactly you get it from. Anyway, guys, we're going to call it there. Um, thank you so much for coming out. If you haven't already smashed that like button, give it a tickle. We're currently sitting at 200 and 216 likes, which is awesome. So thank you for that. I'll catch you in the next stream. I'll be streaming tomorrow. As soon as the update drops with the research, I'm going to go live. Not immediately, because there's no rush. I don't need to like jump straight up there and do it. But I will go live soon after the update drops with research stream. We're going to chill and just do some research. I need to situate some resources because <laughs> it costs a lot of resources. So I need to sort out some resources as well. I'm going to go knock on my banker's door and say, hi, bank. Can I borrow some resources? <laughs> um, I'll sort that out anyway. So guys, it's been an absolute pleasure as always. Get ready for the serpent gear. It's coming soon. I'll catch you in the next one. But until then, you know how this next bit's going to go. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out.